Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian bringing you an unboxing video of the Blood Angels Sanguine Guard. Of all the Space Marine chapters, these are probably some of the most unique troops that you can field. Um, all right, Space Wolves have Space Marines riding wolves that are the size of horses. All right, I get that. But the um, Blood Angels, they have these unique troops, these lovely little gold armoured jump pack soldiers who can deep strike into enemy territory and spread fear and terror. And they look like angels, of course. Uh, the original, the, the actual name for the Space Marines is the Angels of Death, so this quite well fits the description, really. Um, so we'll have a quick look, actually, at the back. That's a little bit of artwork that's been done. So we'll pop them out and add them. Oh, don't need them, mate. So we'll go with the command sprue first. Um, this flag is going to be the flag I'm going to use for my HQ. So I'm not turning this into a command section. I'm going. I'm going to do a few interesting things. I already have a spare space marine command section, which I'm going to be doing. And so the command elements of this sprue will be going on to the normal command marines. Um, hence the um, I will be putting the backpacks on them as well. So that's going to be an interesting little project I'm going to do. Um, we have the same shoulder pads as I've already showed you in the uh, this pack here. Uh, this pack is a pack of... Uh, it enables you to upgrade a normal Space Marine squad into a Blood Angel squad. And so you get a lot more of it in here because these are actually Blood Angels. And you have a few completely unique to the um, these drop troops because they are in the sort of angelic uniform. So things like this look absolutely brilliant and they will look really good on the miniatures when I get around to doing them. Uh, weapon wise we have the large two handed power swords um, which are a little bit like the frost um, equipment that's, that um, the Space Wolves have. Um, so they have their own unique rules for them um, like the Frost Axe and the, all that sort of stuff. These are the Blood Angels versions of the same thing. The Blood Angels Axe there. Let's make sure it's focused. So you've got the Blood Angels Axe, uh, a normal power sword. Um, but they're all two-handed because every single trooper has a weapon mounted on their wrist. That's the wrist-mounted weapon just there. It's a wrist-mounted bolter which enables them to fire a weapon while carrying a two-handed weapon, which is really good. That, that makes them a lot more powerful than your standard assault infantry. It gives them a little bit of firepower where they really need it uh, because they don't actually carry standard ranged weapons. All their weaponry is close combat, two-handed close combat weapons, and so the wrist-mounted weapons gives gives you the ability to be able to shoot, which is very useful. So everything is very detailed to the Blood Angels, so you could also use them for any of the successor chapters, because all the Blood Angels successor chapters all have Sanguine Guard. So if you're doing Flesh Terrors or, or Blood Drinkers, you can also have the Sanguine Guard for them. Uh, the Flesh Terrors um, version of these, uh, they're not in gold, I think they're in black. And the Blood Drinkers, I think, are in white. Um, so you've got a few different colour schemes you could use. Um, I'm playing around with um, painting ideas for the Blood Angels uh, when I put the Blood Angels together eventually. That's the overall lot. Um, right. So the standard um, assault infantry, but they're an elite choice. But they're they're, fa they're they're fast attack infantry, but they're an elite choice on the armor list. So they move twelve inches um, because they're using jetpacks. So they're very very fast troops. Um, but they have more or less a standard. Um, abilities of your normal Space Marines. The biggest difference is to get an additional attack, but that doesn't really, that, that, that's really to counter the weapon that they're carrying. But they're also wearing the, effectively in 8th edition, they're wearing Terminator armor because they have a 2 plus save. 
So effectively in game terms they're Terminator armor wearing assault troops. Will it keep them alive on the battlefield for any longer? No, not a huge amount. That plus one, no, that, that two plus won't save you against any heavy stuff, but it will be useful fighting things like orcs and the lighter forms of Tyranid. Um, and, and anything that's Tau, obviously. Um, so they don't carry anything particularly special um, weapon wise. Um, all their weapons are sort of close combat weapons. Uh, the ex Carmine axe, uh, the ex Carmine sword, and um, the Inferno pistol. Um, other than that, they're just assault troops. The biggest interesting thing is they, they have the death mask. Uh, the death mask is the, the mask, mask of um, the previous wearer. Um, and it suffers a minus one uh, modifier to leadership. Uh, while they're in three inches of any model wearing the death mask. So any combat that you're in, when you're, you're playing assault troops, so you're going to be taking casualties on them, um, they get a minus one to their leadership when they take the mor their morale roll. And that can make the difference between standing or dying. Now against Space Marines, it's not going to make a huge difference against Tau, Orcs, any of the other races, Imperial Guard, anything like that. Um, you've got much more chance of doing damage, uh, to getting them to break. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, there's not a huge more to go into. Um, I'm going to stick to the big explanation when I actually do the, um, do the video on the actual figures, so when they're all painted up and based and they look really awesome. Um, these figures I'm going to be, this particular box, I've got two boxes of them, uh, and the second box there. Um, so these, this box is going to be to convert into a command unit using the Space Marine command pack. So with the medic, uh, with the <coughs> pardon me, with the apothecary and everything on board. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using this particular pack for. And I've got some um, a librarian and chaplain, which I'm going to be putting the same jump pack on. So it's to give all my command unit wings, basically, to make them look really awesome. And that's pretty much all I've got to say on it. Uh, look out for the video when they're painted up. Um, that will be coming relatively soon. I will try and get them done as soon as I can. And that's basically it. I'll put a slideshow at the end of close-ups of all the different bits of the sprue. So this has been... Imperator Vespasian, click like and subscribe, leave any comments you want down below, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.